Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dulce and I am the owner and creator of Sweet Hope Sub Co. And I want to welcome you to another edition of a small business vlog. Today is Thursday and it is a shop day. Today we open the store for the weekend, Thursday through Sundays. And before we head over there, I need to go downstairs and cut three batches of soap that I made yesterday. I've been busy making all the false soaps and really just being creative because I wanted to uh, try out some new fragrances for the fall. And fall is like my favorite season. I think it's one of everyone's favorite seasons, obviously. And we're getting closer to the holidays and it's just, getting exciting and I know last year I had such a hard time getting into the spirit and actually being motivated and inspired to start working on fall product um, even though it's like so hot outside um, this year I was able to do it last year I kind of had a hard time doing that so I'm excited for the new fragrances that I'm trying out I am really all about some woodsy scents some nutty uh, scents um, that are just cozy and inviting so i'm excited to try those out and usually my uh, batches my uh, recipe that i work with is really fast moving what does that mean it means that uh, my soap setups fairly quickly and the reason that i do this is because obviously i want to work the quickest and most efficient way for my business i would not be able to keep up if every single uh, soap that I made was super slow moving and this year my goal was to get started with uh, fall soaps as soon as possible and like I said my recipe is a very fast moving recipe it's like boom it's uh, you know I mix it just a tiny bit with my um, uh, immersion blender and then after that it's like whisk 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 and boom like pour it in the mold because it is ready to go so I used a couple of new fragrances that I've never used before. Obviously, we always look at all the details on the reviews and how quickly does this fragrance oil work. But as always, when you're working with something new, um, you're gonna learn um, something new. So even though I did have a plan for the design of these soaps, uh, the two new ones that I was working with, actually, all three of them are new, except that the very last one didn't accelerate on me. But the first two, um, did accelerate and like I said I was kind of ready for it but at the same time uh, the fragrance oil did and contribute a little bit more to the acceleration so I wasn't quite able to do the design that I planned um, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna come out nice anyway I hope it always does soap does what it wants anyway I don't ever get bummed anymore um because oh i couldn't get the swirl or i couldn't you know do the layer properly i just find the beauty in soap doing whatever it wants and that's just really my style and like i said everyone has their own style everyone has their own recipes that they like to work with i uh, personally uh, work with a very fast moving recipe and it's all about being efficient and quick so that I could have soap on my shelves and I could have soap over to my wholesale customers um, just as quick as I possibly can so that being said I do have three batches waiting for me downstairs and I am so excited to cut into and to look at them and to see what they look like um, and then after we're done with that I'm gonna pack up some soaps that are ready now that I've cured and I'm gonna take over to the shop but first we're gonna photograph them so that's probably one of the first things we're gonna do when we get to the store and hopefully we'll get there before opening time but if not Usually Thursdays are a little slow anyway. I always set up a little corner with my photography things and if customers do come in, they don't really mind. It's not like a big inconvenience for me to have a, a setup. And for those of you that have been along my vlogs before, you guys know that my little store is really little. It's really small. I don't have a back room. Um, I don't have storage. It's like a little rectangle and the, it is what it is. But I make it work and I just love it. And I love being in there. So I wanna bring you with me today. Um, it looks like a beautiful day outside right now. So I am excited. Uh, let's head downstairs. Let's cut the soap. So after we cut the soap, we're going to pack up some soap, put it in my car, which is already downstairs. Um, we're gonna pack it because we have to photograph it. A lot of, like I said, I'm making a lot of new soap. So that means I need to photograph it for 
social media. I need to pho photograph it for our websites, both the wholesale website and our uh, online store. Um, so that's gonna take a little bit uh, of time. I also have to create listings for these because again, I decided to make a bunch of new soap. So that means I need to create a new listing on my website. Um, and then new labels as well, because again, new soaps, new labels. So all of this is gonna take time and I think that'll probably be everything we do today at the store. So I usually take my laptop with me. I'll be working online on all the listings after we take photographs, you know, download them to the computer, create the listings, create the labels and get those ready. And even if they're not on the shelf today, they will be tomorrow. So when I come home, I will actually print the labels here at home in the office and then we'll head over uh, and then we'll take them over to the store where we can package and label and then finally put them on the shelf. So I'm anticipating that's what's gonna take place today. And that along with taking care of customers and just enjoying a beautiful day in downtown Livermore at our little soap store that we absolutely love. So guys, let's get ready for a great day. So we're downstairs and we're in the workshop and uh, we're gonna cut three batches of soap. Um, I also made uh, some more Aviva oil. This is our face oil that I make and it sells out so quickly. I had to make another quick batch last night so that I could take it into the store because there's none in the store right now at the moment. So um, yes, look at it, it's so good. It's ready to go. So let's move this out of the way and then we're gonna get everything ready so that we can cut our new batch of stuff.
Okay, so we finished cutting soap uh, downstairs and I packed the soap that I need to take with me to the store that we need to photograph. So that's already in the car ready to go. But I still have time, it's still early. Um, so I decided that I'm gonna s work on uh, the labels so that if I have a chance to print them right now, that'll be great. That way we can take it the labels with us and when we're done photographing, we can go ahead and package and label the soaps and they'll be ready for uh, sale this weekend. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna go to Photoshop and work on our labels. Okay, we're all set with our labels. I got them printed, which means one less thing to do later this evening. We're gonna get all of this labeled when we get to the shop. So it's 10.30, I am gonna get there right on time. I'm gonna go pick up a Subway sandwich for lunch and then we're gonna head to the store. So we'll see you guys in a bit. started our music we're gonna turn on our POS system I use the Wix POS that I absolutely love we have the lights on the music's ready and I'm about to create a post to let everyone know that we are ready for you today okay guys so let's go ahead and set up to take pictures and sometimes I will set up here up on the counter by the window um, when I want some uh, nice harsh light and shadows we're not gonna do that this time we're gonna go ahead and set up in this little area here and um, I just put my little stool here and then I'll use my boards on there and then the brick wall will be the actual background of the photo um, and it just makes it super easy to be able to just shoot here and we're not in the way of anything or anyone. So let's go ahead and set that up now. Okay, so we just finished uh, taking photos. I'm really happy with the way those look in camera. They look pretty great, but I'm still gonna download them into my laptop here because I just wanna run them through Lightroom really quickly, adjust lighting and contrast, and just make them look their best, sharpen a little bit for the web, and then they'll be ready for the website. So what I'm gonna do first is uh, run through those photos really quickly, and then I'm gonna go ahead and 
start with the listings on the website. So once we're done working on the computer side of things, then I'm gonna take some time to make some boxes. I just have to put the boxes together and put the soap inside and put labels and they'll be ready for our shelves. And I also have an order here that I need to ship out. I didn't realize that there was an order that came in over the weekend. And since I'm not in the shop until today, Thursday, I think it's time that we get that order ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and get an online order ready. It's just a sm one small order. We'll do that as well. And hopefully we'll be done before the end of the day. I have had uh, quite a few people walk in right when I started setting up for photography is when um, people started walking into the shop. So that always happens. <laughs> uh, it's like so lonely, no one's in here at all. And I'm like, great, let's, you know, let's set up for a little corner for photography. And then once I start doing that, people start uh, coming in. So I did have to pause and remove things so that um, because my uh, photography area is right in front of my checkout counter, I had to move stuff around a couple times. So that's probably why I'm so tired and hot just from that little um, photo shoot here I just had with some soaps. So um, anyway, that was fun. Uh, it's always fun to have customers coming inside and catch me in the middle of <laughs> recording YouTube videos and, and taking photos, but it's fun. They get to see what I do also. Um, that's also part of my job. So anyway, let's move on. Let's go ahead and upload those photos. Let's create uh, web listings for our websites and and then we'll move on to packaging ourselves. All right, so here are all of our photos. I updated Violet because it looks a little different than it did last time around. Look at how pretty that is. I love it. All right, so all the photos are in here. Um, we're gonna go through them and choose a few for each uh, soap and then just adjust highlights and contrast and sharpening and then go ahead and export them so we can upload them to our website. to our boxes and these are two by four labels um, they're already pre-cut and I buy these from online labels and my boxes are printed with my general branding on them but they don't have the uh, soap name or the scent and the ingredients so that's what I print on my labels and I attach that to the blank side this is the blank side and this side has printing on it. Um, and then it'll go across the back and you'll be able to see the ingredients and the name of the soap. So let's go ahead and attach our labels. We'll start with Mahogany Woods and this is a brand new soap for fall that I am super happy to carry. It smells so good. It smells like cologne. It's very, to me, it smells very manly, but, oh, it's just a very woodsy scent. And I know that both men and women are attracted to these type of scents. So 
I'm really feeling the woodsy this fall, you guys. So if you come into the shop, you're gonna find a whole lot of scent profiles um, in the woodsy, earthy scents. Um, I've been obsessed this season. So we've restocked our Aviva face oils here on the shelf. This is like my whole face care section. So it's looking nice with our oils back on the shelf. And then on this side, let's move over here. And here we have the soaps that we worked on today that we boxed, that we labeled, that we uh, took pictures of today. So even though it was a very slow day, we did some very simple tasks. I still enjoyed it. It was very therapeutic. I uh, enjoyed being in here. I enjoyed the calmness, the freshness of the shop. When you just walk in here and you smell everything, it just brings you this calmness. And I definitely felt so much peace uh, today in the shop. And I enjoyed the customers that came through today as well. So all in all, it was a good day and I'm glad I was able to bring you guys along to share it with me. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you will come along next time when we share more of our behind the scenes of Sweet Hope Subco. Bye.